Hey what's going on guys, Chris here, and today I'm going to be talking all about the Hellregal 1915 Defensive in Battlefield 1, one of the four new level 10 weapon variants which came along in the Spring Patch. Now it's not exactly a new gun, but it does offer something a bit different for the Assault class to work towards and eventually use. It's still essentially the same Hellregal 1915 that we've come to either love or hate, but this one's a bit special, as it's been pimped out with a few attachments. The Hellregal Defensive has its own bipod, optical sight, and a much larger ammo capacity. And these are all going to reflect on how the gun actually performs on the battlefield. Some of its stats have been changed slightly from the factory variants, and this means that it's going to play out a bit differently. But I'll be going over all of that sort of stuff in a lot more detail later on in the video. Just like the other level 10 variants released in the spring patch, the Hellregal Defensive has a pretty tough set of requirements that must be met first before the gun can be used. You'll first need to reach Assault Level 10 and unlock the bog standard Hellregal factory variant if you haven't already. If you've been playing Battlefield 1 for a while, then you'll probably already have done this. To actually unlock the defensive variants, you'll need to net yourself 300 kills of the Hell Eagle Factory, which is pretty easy and straightforward. It's going to take quite a few matches of grinding, but it shouldn't really cause too many problems, as the kills are all just going to accumulate over rounds. Pick your favourite game mode, equip the Hell Eagle Factory, and just rack up the kills. Piece of cake. As for the second requirement, this is the one that's going to cause the most frustration. You'll need to get 25 kills with anti-tank mines, which sounds pretty easy, but in reality, I'm not going to lie, it's a bit of a ball ache. Especially at the moment with tank drivers being extra careful, as there's a lot of people running around dropping mines all over the place trying to complete this challenge. There's really no easy way of doing this one, and it's probably going to be quite time consuming, but there are a few different methods which I use to maximise chances of getting kills. Now obviously to get kills with anti-tank mines, you're going to have to take on tanks and other land vehicles. Unfortunately, laying down a mine and just shooting it when a guy runs past isn't going to count. So I'd definitely suggest finding yourself a busy conquest server on a map with lots of vehicles, and just focus on taking them out. Instead of dropping mines around on a path and just waiting for someone to casually drive over them, probably the most effective method that I found was to be a bit of a stealthy tank hunting ninja. If you can sneak behind a tank and flank its position using some smart use of cover and smoke grenades, providing they didn't see you, you can throw a few anti-tank mines right underneath it, and as soon as it moves, the mines blow up and the tank goes bye bye. It usually takes a couple of mines to actually destroy the tank completely, so it's always best putting a few of them down together. But other than sneaking up on tanks, you can always try putting a few mines just at the entrance of the capture point nearest to the enemy spawn, as that's normally the first place a tank driver would go if it's being captured by your team. Bit of a dirty tactic, and you're probably not going to make many friends by doing this, but it's still usually a lot more effective than just sticking them on a road in the middle of nowhere and hoping for the best. I'd advise working towards both challenges together, with priority being on the anti-tank mine kills. Unfortunately, kills before the spring patch won't be counted towards the assignments, so you're basically going to have to start from scratch. Though I should point out that the Hell Recall Defensive is a completely free weapon, so you don't have to worry about it being locked behind any paywalls or DLC but it just might take a bit of a while and a lot of patience to finally unlock it. But anyway, let's check out the stats and see if the Hellregal Defensive is worth all of that hassle. Because it's exactly the same gun as the factory variant, it's going to mirror the same damage values, with a maximum of 23 up to 11 meters and a minimum of 13.5 beyond 42 meters. So it's still going to kill in 5 bullets up to 22 meters and up to 8 bullets beyond 39. It's got the exact same damage graph as the MP18, but because it fires at 650 RPM, the gun is still going to have a slightly quicker time to kill. One of the main differences between the factory and defensive variants is the gun's recoil pattern, which has been increased, as the defensive variants got a vertical kick of 0.4 and a horizontal movement of 0.475, so quite a bit of a jump up in the recoil department, as it's going to be 30% less stable and 20% less accurate. This might mean that running and gunning with the defensive variant is going to be slightly less effective, and so the factory variant still might be a better option for taking up to the front lines and rushing objectives. With the addition of a bipod, the Hellregal defensive on the other hand will be a much better weapon for gunning down enemies from stationary positions. It's best to constantly keep an eye out for flat surfaces which are going to be bipod friendly, using ledges, low cover pieces and even the floor as often as you can. You might be a vulnerable target when using the bipod, but it's going to provide you with a huge bonus to accuracy and stability, allowing you to easily tear down enemies that are further away at distances where the Hell Eagle Factory and most other assault weapons would really struggle. With the gun itself already having one of the best mid to long range kill times for the assault class, this means that it's already more geared up for ranged battles than other assault class weapons. And it also means that you can essentially do what support players can do, to some extent, without sacrificing your anti-vehicle tools. You might be firing weaker rounds than an LMG, but you'll be firing them a lot quicker, 
meaning the gun can actually kill faster than most LMGs at close to medium ranges, and it still performs quite well at longer distances too, killing at a similar kind of speed to the Hewitt Automatic at long range. Though it's best pointing out that the Hell Regal's 380m per second muzzle velocity is over twice as slow as some of the support weapons, so you'll definitely need to lead moving targets in the distance, aiming slightly in front of them to land those shots on target. The Hell Regal factory already utilised some pretty chunky 60 round magazines, but now the defensive variant has come along and basically doubled the Hell Regal's mag size up to 120 rounds, which now gives the gun one of the biggest ammo capacities in not just the assault class, but in the entire game. Being able to continuously lay down fire and cut down squads of enemies down narrow corridors in a steady stream of hot lead is what the defensive variant was born to do, and the fact that you really need to reload the gun is going to put you in far less vulnerable positions and keep you in the fight for a lot longer. So in conclusion, the Hell Regal Defensive is the ideal assault class weapon for all the passive aggressive players out there who just want to sit back and pick players off from further distances using a bipod without the expense of losing too much effectiveness in close quarters too. Because the gun has a really fast fire rate, this makes up for a lot of the damage lost at longer ranges. Though with a less accurate recoil pattern, this might cause more shots to stray away from targets when you're running and gunning. It might be a much better assault weapon for range gunfights, but don't be fooled, the Hell Regal Defensive still isn't exactly going to tear through everyone at long distances super easily, down to its low muzzle velocity and down to the fact that it's still going to take quite a few bullets to kill. Because it has those massive magazines, you'll be able to keep your enemies suppressed and shoot down multiple targets one after the other much more effectively, and so long as you take advantage of those additional attachments and play carefully, the Hell Regal Defensive is one of the most versatile, well-rounded weapons that an assault player can equip, as it's capable of tackling with most situations at any range fairly well. But anyway, that's pretty much it for another one guys, thanks for watching, give me a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for loads of new content coming soon. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.